Three, two, one, go. All right. Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing okay. It's going to be the last one. This reminds me of old days just pumping on videos like there ain't no tomorrow. Oh, shit. There's no tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to do the last one. We got ourselves an email. Uh, came through. Uh, and this is what the email said. It said, Father, thou, thou hast killed something that resembles a human being in all respects. Except it carries a horn on its forehead. Lamech knew at once what had happened. He had killed his ancestor Cain, who had been marked by God with a horn. So it seems that if you ask, you shall receive, and the shit will come by email. And now that we have it by email, we're just going to go ahead and just uh, copy paste. We copy the sentence. We go over here and we paste it in. It says, Thou has killed something that resembles a human. And so, now we have a bunch of books that come up and it all have the same quote in it that you killed what? Hold on. You killed a human with a horn. Uh, so it gets pretty interesting when you go into this. Um, Legends of the Jews says over and over again, you know, nothing's going to change until you go into one of these. Uh, Jewish expression. You know, oh, I went backwards. No, I don't want to go back. I went back twice. Let's go forward twice. You know, the funny thing is, when I type in half the sentence, death comes up. I think that's just funny. When I type in half the sentence, man eater comes up. And then really weird, it says scientists in 2012 says one third of the human race has to die for, I would ima I'm, I'd imagine it's saying for all people. But before we get too far from what we're actually here for, let's just go further in and complete the sentence. And then now we have between time and eternity, the essentials of Judaism, right? So I should be looking at this uh, cached, but it's already cached for me. Good, good, good. I hope you're on a computer where you can see this as big screen as we can. Um, so when facts or texts become unacceptable, fiction or legend weaves the garland of nobler fancy. This is how the story of Cain slain was born. The tale runs. Lamech was a burly but blind giant who loved to follow and chase under the guidance of his son Tubal Cain. Whenever the horn of a beast came in the sight, the boy would tell his father to shoot at it with a bow and arrow. On one day, he saw a horn move between two hills. He turned Lamech's arrow upon it. The aim was good. So if you understand what's going on, the boy is the spotter and Lamech is blind. So obviously the boy is too small to hold the bow. So Lamech shoots. I would assume that he has the ability, even though being blind, he has the ability to hold the bow level. Or maybe even the boy gets behind the arrow and aims. But again, it stated he was blind. So it's a two-man job. So he says, whenever the horn of the beast came in the sight, the boy would tell the father to shoot at it with a bow and arrow. On one day, he saw the horn between the two hills. He turned Lamech's arrow upon it. The aim was good. The quarry dropped to the ground, and when they came close to the victim, the lad exclaimed, Father, thou hast killed something that resembles a human being and with all respects, except that it carries a horn on its forehead. Lamech knew at once what had happened. He had killed the ancestor of Cain, who had been marked by God with a horn for his own protection, lest anyone who came upon him should kill him. In bitter remorse, Lamech wept. I killed a man to my wounding. 
it seemed to be shocking scripture was made by the legend to yield a moral tale in Genesis 4 excuse me oh. 4 and 24 was turned from a barbarian boast into a cry of contrite 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 uh, whatever the offense I kill a man for just wounding me was now read. I kill a man to my wounding and sorrow. The Hebrew permits this change by a mere inflection of voice. But all but above all, the stumbling block in Genesis four and fifteen was removed. The assurance of the deity that Cain's vengeance shall be sevenfold that was that was made to mean that his punishment would be exalted from him in the seventh generation. Now, again, I made a statement about this earlier uh, in a video some of you might have seen. Uh, uh, if you're the one that kills the one with the horn, you're not going to see the curse of this. You know, it's going to come generations later. His sentence is to be carried out by Lamech, the seventh in the succession of generations since Adam. The savage reprisal became a deserved but deferred penalty. The merciful judge, slow to anger, granted the sinner a long reprisal and to rep excuse me to repent and mend his ways. In brief, two passages of the sacred writ disturbing the peace and disquieting the faith of a host. Well, look, I'm going to I'm going to say this. This is this is three things I'm going to take from this. Number 1 is Lamech is the seventh from Adam, so this curse falls uh it, it seems this curse falls uh, seven generations from IE the host, the 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 person that gets into this quarrel with someone with a horn and kills the person with a horn. All right. It seems from these books, from these passages, that Cain is given a horn for his actions towards his brother. Another thing that we can take from this Excuse me, I'm looking for this part. <laughs> I killed a man to my wounding and sorrow. All right, so when we understand this is going to affect his generations later, this is a man that is not, he's already blind. He understands this is going to hurt his family down the line. All right. So, another thing that we're going to take from this is it says Lamech is what? It says, when facts or texts become unacceptable, so they can't tell if this is good. The tale runs, Lamech was a burly but blind giant. Now look at that. Now, Lamech, this is someone that is of the bloodline of Noah, right, as they claim. Now, this book claims, or this story claims, that he's a giant. Now, I believe this story is in one of the books uh, in the Apocrypha. I'm not sure. But it's interesting that they call him a giant. Between time and entry, let's see, Jewish Expression 145. All right, so here we have it, and he says he's a burly, blind giant. That's what we're going to find each time. So again, this is a copy-paste. This is a book called Jewish Expression. As you see, word for word, it's right there. If I copy each one of these words, it's going to show me more books. 
Legends of the Jews. All right, let's scroll down. Uh, see, here's something different. And this is the point that we don't stick to one source. Okay, so uh, this is, we're going to go all the way to the top of this. Uh, Cain only knew, <coughs> Cain knew only too well that <coughs> his blood guiltness would be visited upon him in his seventh generation. Thus God decreed against him. He endeavored, therefore, to immortalize his name by means of monuments. Ah, look at what we get now. Now we understand why monuments are made, right? Now we understand why these people that rule over us want to make a monument to everything. And he became a builder in cities. Now, this is starting to match Genesis. And the first of them he called Enoch. Now, if we go to Genesis, it's, it gives you a precept. It is not Enoch, it's Chanuk. Just like the Chanuk helicopter of the United States, like the Chanuk Indians uh, 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 over there in the western end of Canada, right above Washington State. All right. Because it was at the birth of Enoch, which isn't Enoch. And it's not the book of Enoch. There are two Enochs in Genesis. One's name is not even Enoch. The writers wrote this to confuse you on purpose. Yet, in the precepts, they tell you it's Chanuk. Now, it says, He began to enjoy the measure of rest and peace. Besides, he founded six other cities. The building of cities was a godless deed. Now, oh my God. Now, you hear you have in biblical writing that the building of cities is a godless deed. These cities are dead. They've always been dead. It's the people that bring these cities to life. Do you understand what it's saying? This is why we should have never been in these cities. Right here, when we read about Cain, it tells you cities are godless. Let's read it again. So you, It's on screen, so you don't have to think I'm bullshitting you, okay? There's no music playing in the background to distract you with pretty fucking sounds of wah, wah, wah. Besides, he found six other cities. The buildings, the building of cities was a godless deed. Okay. Well, obviously, there's going to be some nigga that sits there and say, Oh, I don't know what godless means because you know, just haven't fucking had an opportunity, right? <sighs> and well, the definition it means without a god, right? Not recognizing or obeying God, not recognizing or obeying the Creator. Godless. You are a godless. That's that's heathen, right? Godless. Okay. So building this building of cities was a godless deed. Do you think the buildings of modern cities today was a godless deed as well? Or do you think they had God in mind? Hmm? It states, For he surrounded them with a wall, forcing his family to remain within. All his other doings were equally impious. Now, I know niggas don't know what impious means, so we just better just clear this shit up right now. Impious, no showing respect or reverence, especially for God. Now, all you niggas on the street fight each other for what? Respect and reverence. Impious. Right? Yeah, that's just the dumb shit of Europeans. If it's impious, why is there an I there? <sighs> Ignorant bastards. 
So, the punishment of God, the punishment God had ordained for him, did not affect any improvement. He sinned in order to secure his own pleasure. His, th though his neighbors suffered injury thereby because of his sin, he augmented his house, his household substance, by rapine and violence. You know, do you understand what that means? Rapine is just change the E to an ING. Don't believe me? We'll go. What is rapine? Rapine, violent seizure of somebody's property. Yeah. Rapin, right? What do you do when you rape somebody? You violently seize their sexual goods, right? Well, to Rapin. is to violently seize. It's in their pockets. Hmm? Their goods. So this motherfucker built himself a prison. And he locked his family inside his prison. And he went outside of the prison, and he fucking stole from everybody, and then took all of his shit behind his walls. And when everybody came for their shit, what, they got to deal with his walls, right? Okay, so, he augmented his household substance by rapine and violence. He cited his acquaintances, excuse me, he excited his acquaintances to procure pleasures and spoils by robbery. And he became a great leader of men into wicked courses, wicked ways. He also introduced a change in the ways of simplicity, wherein men had lived before. And he was the author of measures and weights. And whereas men lived innocently and generously, while knew nothing of such arts, he changed the world into cunning craftiness. Now, this is all the time of Cain, when the earth is full of people. Now, many people have told you in Genesis, man is created and human is created in separate verses. And you need to decide for yourself. If you're being told about the creation of Adam twice, where do all the other people come from? Where does Cain get his wife from? If Cain marries his sister, then who the fuck is Cain stealing from? You're going to have to realize there are different sets of beings on the earth. You don't have to come to those terms. I already came to those terms. We don't all think alike. We don't. We don't have the same fucking systems. We don't have the same actions. So there are different sets of people. We just don't understand where the division starts or where it ends. So it states... He became a great leader of men into wicked courses. He introduced a change in the ways of simplicity. See, things were simple. And this guy, he turned it all upside down. He introduced weights and measures. Whereas men lived innocently and gen generously, while they knew nothing of such arts of weights and measures, he changed the world into cunning craftiness. Like unto Cain, all his descendants, impious and godless. Wherefore, God resolved to destroy them. So, he always wanted to destroy them because of this. The end of Cain overtook him in the seventh generation of man, the time of Lamech. It was inflicted upon him by the hand of his great-grandson. This Lamech was blind, and when he went a-hunting, he was led by his young son, who would appraise his father, 
when game came into sight. Now, let's see if appraise is a definition of aiming. Uh, assess the value or quality, okay? Set a value on it. He would set a value on what he was shooting. And when, you know, we've, we've read this description. He could only see a horn when the, when the shot was taken, okay? So now, what is different in this one that's not, that's different from the others? Well, in this one, He's a giant. Okay. Now Lamech is a bloodline of Noah. So if you read that Lamech is a giant, then that should probably leave you scratching your head saying, well, how could God see that Noah was fit to carry the man blood into after after the flood if there's a giant in his bloodline? And then this book sit there and say the same damn thing that Lamech was a giant. A burly but blind giant, right? A burly but blind giant. Well, we're now reading a different one. We're now reading a different book. Where is the word burly, blind, and giant? Lamech was a, all these other books keep telling me how he was a giant. He, his, before Genesis 6, because Lamech's born before Genesis 6. Before Genesis 6, Lamech is Genesis 6, as so those other books say. So it kind of seems like they added some bullshit, and we caught them adding bullshit. Now, this satisfies my heart. This does. Because now it makes sense. It makes sense to sit there and say, oh, Lamech, right? And to add he's a giant, you know, okay, okay, I'm just reiterating that. So I'll just keep moving on. <clears throat> okay, so Lamech was blind. He was a hunting and his son would appraise uh, his father. He would assess a value to the target uh, when game came in sight. And Lamech would shoot at it with his bow and his arrow. Once upon a time, he and his son went on a chase. The lad discerned something horned in the distance. He naturally took it to be a beast of one kind or another. He couldn't tell which one. And he told his blind, told the blind Lamech to let his arrow fly. The aim was good, and the quarry dropped to the ground. When they came close to the victim, the lad exclaimed, Father, thou hast killed something that resembles a human being, and with all respects, except it carries a horn on its forehead. Lamech knew once that had happened, he had killed his ancestor Cain, who had been marked by God with a horn. In despair, he smote his hands together. Smote his hands together. Isn't that funny, right? Smote his hands together. What's going to be the definition of smote? In context with hands being brought together, right? Let me get some motherfucking hands on the screen. Smote. Past tense of smite. Smote. What is to smite? Strike. He struck his hands together. A firm blow. Defeat or conquer. Attack or... Okay, so he struck his hands together. Strike. Struck. Smite. Smote. So he struck his hands together. Inadvertently killing his son as he clapped them. Now... Did you just hear that? Misfortune still followed upon misfortune. The earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the four generations sprung from Cain. Enoch, Erad, Mejul, and Methuselah, Lamech, sightless as he was, 
could not go home. He had to remain by the side of Cain's corpse and his sons toward evening. His wives, seeing him, found him there. When they heard what he had done, they wanted to separate from him. All the more as they knew that whoever was descended from Cain was doomed to annihilation. But Lamech argued if Cain, who had committed murder of malice after a forethought, was punished only in the seventh generation, then I, who had no intention of killing a human being, may hope that retribution will be averted for seventy and seven generations. With his wives, Lamech repaired to Adam, who heard both parties and decided the case was in favor of Lamech. So you see at this point, Adam is a judge over the people. And they, they've lost a life like they lost Abel. And they took their concerns to Adam. And Adam understood Lamet being blind and the rest of the story that he cited in the favor of Lamech. Now, what does that mean? Well, you just had a death at the hands of someone that is called murder. Not only do you have the murder of Cain, but you have the murder of the child. So, Adam's judgment is obvious that Lamech is not going to, thinking of the correct word, uh, be punished or a, a punishment will not be placed on Lamech for this action. The day a blind man kills two. Right? The corruptness of times, and especially the depravity of Cain's stock, appears in the fact that Lamech, as well as all the men in the generation of the deluge, married two wives, one with the purpose of rearing children and the other with the pursue carnal indulgences. So, one wife was to extend your bloodline and your other wife was for your carnal thoughts. For which reason the latter was rendered sterile by artificial... Oh my God. They sterilized the second wife so they couldn't have any children with the wife they were doing crazy shit with. Now... You already saw me read further past in the first or second book, and it said nothing about any of this. And it called the Mecha Giant, which would mean that if Noah continued from the Mech's bloodline, and Noah was uh, poison blood too, which means then there'd be no point of using Noah because you already had fucking Genesis 6 in his blood. So those other books are lies. See how this fucking works. Now you go to the bookstore, pick one of these books off the bookshelf, and you read it, and that's what you think is fucking fact. When, when only at a time when you can choose between three different books, reading one page out of out of all three of them, you can fucking see which one's real and which one's fake. Not only that, what did we just learn? These motherfuckers were sterilizing women before the flood. They were they were having one wife to be the righteous wife and one wife to be the whore wife, and they sterilized the whore wife so they wouldn't pr produce any fucking babies from all the different positions they're fucking trying out, right? So, and, and these people want to fucking argue about slavery being a fucking choice. understand what it is. It's your oppressor. Your oppressor is Cain. 
these fuckers are all mangled. Let me show you something. And don't mean that Cain's blood runs through them all. I'm gonna just show you real simple. There's And all we're going to do is just say, hey, show me some people with horns, right? You can always say, show me some people with a fucking tail, right? But for the most part, these are horns and a tail on this one. Right? Some of these are natural horns. And you see how that opens up. Excuse me for saying something disgusting. You see that opens up just like a private park. Okay. Now you see when they're real, you see when they're fake. If they're fake, there is no opening that they come through. They're just some glue shit on the outside and they put some makeup on that shit. Right? When they get up under the skin, there's an incision somewhere and you don't see where this where the horn bursts through the skin. Now it seems when you want to find stuff like this, it's there. And this one doesn't quite show the bursting either. There is some kind of a, 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 a layer of skin that just looks almost translucent and shows off the horn. You know. We'll see if we say real and we see what's going on all right so here you have somebody you can see, see the dark ring of skin where you see the bone is light you see the dark ring of skin and then you see his regular skin Let's see if we can get a closer picture yeah it's all right so, you know, it's, it's different people's different ways, right? So, it's hard to find real in this time that people are doing this shit on purpose. Chinese doctors are baffled by a bizarre five-inch growth on an elderly woman's head. They aren't able to explain exactly what it is. It appears to be an uncannily resemblance to a unicorn's horn. Yes, because every time they show me a goddamn picture of a unicorn, that's exactly the image that they fucking show. A, a goddamn ancient fucking turtle's claw coming out of somebody's fucking head. When I reason... Okay, so... Um, Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't type that in. Come on. All right. Come on, Google, you can do it. All right, so all these unicorns, even a fucking bicorn. Oh, wow, that's just, oh. All right, this is getting closer to what a bicorn is, right? It's fucking, that's a unicorn. So most of you guys didn't know. This is a bicorn. Why is it called a bicorn? Because it has a, two horns. All right? A unicorn, uni, mono, one, has a single horn. See, that has two? That's two horns. That's a bi horn. See, this guy don't have a horn yet? See, he has two? That's a bicorn. All right? Uh, 
All right, so let's go a little bit further. So, uh, and again, the unicorn is in the Bible. When the unicorn is in the Bible, it's, this is what it's talking about. It's talking about these. Okay. That's a uni. That's one. That's a buy. You see there's a little nub starting to grow? It will grow into a buy corn. <clears throat> All right, so here we have seen this picture. He's got a horn growing out of the back of his head. That's got to be excellent for fucking pillows, right? We've seen this picture, Chinese grandmother. All right, so this picture that I thought was fake, I guess it's real. First off, you see that's a dark-skinned black man. His hair does not look curly. Those are implants, right? Jamaican artists underwent a surgery for implants. Okay, so if they're going to start showing us implants, then that's not real. 19th century woman was known as the widow, as Widow Sunday. All right, so I, I'm assuming this is a bust of her, all right? Uh, widow Sunday was a French woman living in Paris, 19th century, grew a 24 centimeter, a nine inch horn from her forehead. And it was successfully removed by a surge and a wax model of her head is on display at the museum. All right, you have a 69 year old woman had growth in her forehead for two day, decades before having it removed. Okay, there's a five year old boy who had horn implants to remove a birth park, birthmark. Okay, so think about this. If all all the technology and they want to remove stuff and these guys they said doctors have treated a young boy with a large birthmark on his face by implanting horns on his forehead now ask yourself if they really had to implant something do they have to implant horns he was born with bright red blemish on his forehead she feared it would uh, endure a life of bullying. When he was four, he underwent a surgical procedure to stretch the normal skin. So to stretch it, they said, let's put two masses underneath his forehead skin, right? But the two masses they decided to use look like horns instead of balls or anything else. Okay, so you have a Chinese man with a horn growing outside of his neck. Okay, I think that was only five. Where's where's the rest? Where's the rest? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, seven, eight. All right, it was eight. All right, I counted bad. All right, so there you go. Eight people with just the weirdness, weirdness. Okay, so you have already heard these can be surgically removed. Now, people with real horns growing have them surgically removed. And then you have idiots that want fake horns installed, right? So this is deformities you have to see to believe. And this person seems to have a lot of different problems. I'm going to pass that one up. It's not really dealing with the horn. Um, I cannot say we're going to get any more images that uh, they're going to they're going to show us this, you know. Um, when I type in real, they even show me the implants. Okay. You do have skulls. Was there a race of people that had horns, horns in the in Moses' time? a symbol of authority and power many gods and uh, have depicted of, of as having horns kings and holy men were shown having horns so when you think about this this is the same image over and over again they are skulls of humanesque creatures that have skull uh, horns let's see uh let's see if there's any more All right, so this seems to be 
what the deal is. When we look at the man with the with the with this with the horn coming out the side of his neck, this is what that horn looks like. When we take a little peek around, we've already seen this one pop up. This does not look real. It 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 seems that this is is the closest to real. When it's when it's closest to the skull, you're gonna have the closest coloration match. As it moves away from the skull, it's it, the color is different. Uh, at this point some point layer of skin is going to end all this bone will be exposed to oxygen that person's lifetime so it's going to be darker you see real animals the part that's covered by flesh leaves the skull light the part that's exposed to air and sunlight is dark all these animals where the skin was, the skull is now white. Where the sun touched, the horns are dark. So, again, when you look at a picture like this, this is a joke. You can see the line, the segmented line right there. When you see a picture like this, even though there is a segmented line, it, it looks as if it is growing from it. So... Here you have human horns, a dilemma for some. Human horns have sprouted, as it were, anywhere humans have lived. Okay, so this is probably a site more aligned along the lines <coughs> that we're looking for. Let's close some of these out. That was probably too many. Yeah, I got rid of the one that I needed. The one we were reading from. Oh, well. Human horns, a dilemma for some, a delight for others. So here we have some images, right? This is an interesting image that we haven't seen yet. These two, same person. Nice rack of anthers, so-called human horns, are more than just a theme of Futurama episode. They are a recognized medical phenomenon that, that's not as uncommon as one might think. So, even though me and you are seeing this shit and we can only find eight images that seem real, nine, this guy wasn't with the other ones, but the other... Now, we'll go back to eight. One of the guys had the shit installed. The little boy had the shit installed, too. Right? It, those didn't grow naturally. So it turns out, as a medical phenomenon, it is not as uncommon as one might think. After centuries of misunderstanding, fear, scorn, researchers may finally have an answer that explains this strange, unsettling phenomenon. I, I know it says skin condition. A, a fucking horn growing through your fucking skull is not a goddamn skin condition. It's I'm afraid it's just not. This guy's got a horn growing out of his fucking jaw. That's not a skin condition. That's a fucking phenomenon. In the word phenomenon is pheno. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. A fact or situation that is observed to exist or happen, especially one whose cause or explanation is in question. How the fuck do you have a goddamn horn growing out the fucking side of your fucking face? That's a fucking, that's a fucking phenomenon, not a skin condition, goddammit. Phenomenon. You motherfucking liars will call some weird shit some fucking normal shit and you'll call some normal shit some fucking weird shit phenomenon you're fucking backwards this shit is backwards phenomenon fuck man i can't believe you're in fucking control dude how the fuck can you say that's a fucking skin condition phenomenon. oh my god man
the fuck, man? Talk down a fucking jumper off a roof, dude. Oh, boy. Ooh, if the medical professions <laughs> refer to this to these bizarre, even frightening gross as thank you. Katan Katanishus. Thank you. I would have never found that word without your fucking help. Now I know the medical fucking what the fuck do you humans, bitch! The fuck what I wanted in cats and dogs. The fuck out of here. Dooby dooby doo. <laughs> Easy there, as we're cats. Fucking oh shit. Also known in Latin as cornu, cornu catium, are unusual. Carnaceous skin tumors. Is this the same fucking thing? Appearance of... Wait, yes, it's the same fucking thing. Or sometimes wood or coral. Did you just see that, dude? If it's not horns growing out, it's goddamn wood. If it's not wood or fucking horns growing out, it's goddamn coral. That's from the ocean, dude. That's crazy. Do yourself a favor. Just think to most high. You got all the goddamn pieces and parts of a normal person. Think to most high and the ancestor didn't take his fucking genitals and stick them into things they didn't belong to. Honor thy father and mother and keep your genitals out of things they don't belong. You've got to understand what the fuck this has to do with. Man, oh man. Some motherfucker has to sit down and say, damn, baby, that horn growing out the fucking side of your head is crazy, but I I'm going to still do it. People, these things only exist today because somebody agrees to fuck them into the next generation. Formally. <laughs> this is a clinical diagnosis for a con cone, conical projection conical projection above the surface of the skin. They are unusually small and localized. Now look at that. You can't tell somebody's from fucking got a horn because it's unusually small. What we just saw, all these fucking images are abnormally long. A damn dude, he's got a J hook on the back of that motherfucker. He can fish. That motherfucker could take a nap on the side of a fucking river and fucking pull his head up and the goddamn fish be caught on that goddamn thing, right? Fuck it. Oh, boy. I, I could, don't even give me... Don't get me started, boy. Don't give me... I would use this to steal. I would be like... I'd be chilling out. I'd be like... Trying to fish hook some shit. And be like, oh, got a bag of chips! <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> you ever see some shit like that? Oh, boy. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I should stop this fucking video right now. Look at this shit. Now, you know this is by design, but it's funny because we sat there and we just read, sometimes it's motherfucking coral. Right? It's like, now think about it. Let's go back to that. It's like the artist knows. It's like the artist knows. Sometimes you can use coral. Right? Look at that shit. That is creepy. This I saw this too. I didn't want to bring this up earlier because I knew that shit was fake. That's some digital shit. But then when I saw this coral shit, sometimes with wood and sometimes with... Could you imagine you sitting there and you got a fucking bump one day, fucking a couple weeks later, there's a goddamn twig sticking out of your fucking face? Oh, that's, that's shotgun day for sure. That's the day I eat, I eat a shotgun. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. <laughs> Life's cool, but <laughs> when it starts growing out of my face, I'm going to have to call it quits. <laughs> I'm, I've chosen to retire myself. Uh, fucking fucking uh, uh, sea creature's ass just started growing out, out of my chin. Unfucking believable I mean, it, I, wow, man. The shit that you just... Formally, this clinical diagnosis of conical projection 
above the surface of the skin. They are unusually small and localized, but can, in very rare cases, be much larger. Although often benign, they can also be malignant or pre-malignant. All right, so malignant is uh, tumors, right? Malignancy is meaning badly born is a tendency of a medical condition to become progressively worse. Okay, so I agree. That is malignant. So when you see this shit, this is goddamn malignant. Okay, this is fucking worse. If this starts off with a scratch or a bump or a fucking stick protruding and then it ends like this, now nah, that's malignant. That is progressively fucked worse. You know, so I mean, you, you you guys must have did something bad. I mean, like, well, never mind. I already know what you did. You fucking you murdered the first man. Phenomenon. And like, God wanted you know one over the other. Phenomenon. And you took out his choice. Phenomenon. So like, my goodness, man, I can't believe fucking uh, we're we're all in there. Cause? Oh, you're gonna tell me the cause? The cause of the horns is still unknown. Then why is there a fucking cause section? That doesn't even make sense. How is it caused? We don't know. Take the section down. <laughs> Edit. Yeah, backspace. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. The cause of its unknowns. But it's believed that exposure to radiation can trigger the condition. I haven't mean, been telling you about fucking radiation in the last fucking eight videos. It, 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 it's for a reason. Radiation's coming. It's coming in pockets. And when it hits us, it's going to fuck us, man. It's going to feel like fucking an invisible fire. You ever touch a woman's belly when it's pregnant? Now imagine that's that feeling on part of your body that has nothing to do with a womb. It seems a womb is specially designed with enough uh, estrogen to be able to heat up, expand, and deal with those temperatures. Now think, you've got a bad knee. When it's about to rain inside, outside, you go into fucking agony. You've got a bad back. When it starts to rain outside, you go into agony. You've got a neck fucking problem. The bones are all fucked up. When it starts from an accident, when it starts to snow outside, you go into agony. Now, a po imagine a pocket of radiation comes and fucks with any of those fucking mm, sore places that puts you in agony. It's going to cripple you. These people, they think, experience pockets of radiation and a fucking, a, a horn grows outside of their head like a fucking, like a phallus symbol. Uh, literally, literally a, a dickhead. Come on, people. This is evidenced by a higher rate of cases occurring on the face, hands, areas often exposed to sunlight. So the only radiation that is that these people have dealt with so far is sunlight. Now, imagine. Now, uh, most of these people kind of look Asian. Some of them look very Eastern European. Now, what do you think Fukushima is for? Now, how many cases do you have? Is 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 this on the rise? Is cutaneous horn on the rise? Well, radiation sure is rising. 